finding out that you have diminished ovarian reserve can be really scary and frustrating. This is why I dedicated an entire chapter of my fertility guidebook, The Lucky Egg, to understanding the causes of diminished ovarian reserve and everything you need to know about it. I always remind every patient that this is merely a marker of egg quantity, not quality, and it does not necessarily define your fertility or your ability to be successful even with treatment. It can make responding to ovarian stimulation challenging. It can make egg freezing and IVF less efficient. And while it doesn't always indicate that you're going to run out of eggs and stop ovulating, aka go into menopause early, it is possible that in cases of someone who is young and diagnosed with DOR, we might be catching them at a snapshot on a trajectory where they are experiencing an accelerated loss of their eggs, and it could be progressive. So it is important. I want to talk about the possible reasons why someone might have DOR, especially at an earlier age than expected. So let's start with the first factor, which is genetic. We know there are conditions like being mosaic for Turner syndrome, where some of the cells in your body could be missing an X chromosome. Chromosome. Not the most common thing, but this can predispose to early menopause. There can also be genetic mutations, which I talked about in a prior reel with a patient example of someone I diagnosed with the fragile X premutation. And this is an easy enough test to run. And it's an important thing to know, not just for your own health and to understand your risk for early menopause, but also to understand your reproductive risk of passing the mutation on to future generations. But there are many genes that maybe we just don't know to test for that can contribute to how fast we lose our eggs and when we go into menopause. And this is why we always look at family history. According to one study, any woman whose mother, sister, aunt, or grandmother experienced early onset of menopause prior to age 46 had about a 37.5% greater risk of entering menopause early themselves. And this is even stronger of an association if you have a direct relative that experienced menopause before age 40. Another risk factor for DOR is a condition called endometriosis. This is where cells that behave like the inner lining of the uterus that builds up and sheds every month when you get a period are found in places that they shouldn't be, usually the pelvic cavity. And so you can have problems like endometriomas where there are collections of these blood-filled cysts inside the ovary and that can compromise ovarian function. And surgical removal of these cysts, while it's sometimes necessary, can also inadvertently remove some of the healthy ovarian tissue further reducing your egg supply. There's also chronic inflammation from endometriosis, which we think can harm the ovarian environment, reducing the pool of follicles. There are many studies that show women with endometriosis are more likely to present with diminished ovarian reserve at a younger age than those who don't have the condition. Autoimmune disorders is another potential association with diminished ovarian reserve. Autoimmune diseases where the body's immune system attacks its own cells, they tend to run together. And then lastly, this is something that we don't talk about enough, environmental causes of diminished ovarian reserve. We know that there are toxins, endocrine disrupting chemicals, and unhealthy habits like smoking that do bring on earlier menopause. And the fact is only 25% of cases of POI or severely diminished ovarian reserve have a known clear cause. We're not always going to have the answers, but this list of possible associations or causes might give you some clues. And I think it can also be helpful to know your risk factors ahead of time in case you want to think about being proactive and doing things like freezing your eggs that you have access to at a younger age.